Welcome to the support videos for Digital Business Automation video series. This video will show you how to filter which control M components are seen in the CCM. In the CCM, the Control M Configuration Manager, you have Components Tree Pane on the left and Component Details in the center pane. The details that you see depend on what part of the Components Tree Pane you select. So as I click on different parts, you see different details. So you may have a lot of agents uh, and wish to focus on only a few. You might want to focus on components from a certain host or hosts, components with a certain status. Uh, there are lots of possibilities. Now you can do this selective uh, viewing with a filter. And the way that you do this uh, so that you can focus on just the components of interest is first uh, you can hover the mouse pointer uh, at the uh, heading of a column just above the, the column itself and you can either click the drop down box here or you can click in the the area just above the line that divides the, the header from the component details so for instance if I wanted to just look at gateways I'll select gateway and there were only two of them now if you want to undo this you click and then uh, select uh, in the empty space and uh, it goes back to the way it was before. Somewhat similarly if you choose the drop use the drop down box uh, say I wanted to look at control M agent you can select that. You can select uh, using criteria from multiple columns in the details pane so here if I wanted to focus on a certain name I've got two different server uh, names and now I have a selection that that uh, filters based on two columns. So here, to put it back, I can uh, just uh, click the drop down again and select all. You can also make a custom filter. So how about if we wanted to make a custom filter on version? So we click the drop down box, select custom. I will say is not like 9%. So the percent acts as a wildcard. I want to see anything that's not like version 9 dot something. So we have four items selected here. Now uh, suppose I also uh, wanted to filter on type. Uh, will filter only on agents. So again we have a combined filter. Now what you may notice here is that uh, when you have a filter down at the bottom you also have a it appears down at the bottom of the details pane. So if you want to edit that combined filter uh, there's a filter editor that you can use uh, there and uh, you can do and and or and various things uh, so you can edit the filter that way also. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Another thing you can do is if you want to remove it, you can just click the X. Now I've removed the filter, and again I'm seeing all the details. So now you know how to use filters to focus in on components of interest, and also how to remove the filtering when you want to see everything again. Thank you for watching this video. The Digital Business Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you when you need our assistance.